this game, Copy This, is a game where one person draws something and another person copies it. Um, I usually do this with kids, but you could do this with adults as well. It's great because it's a fun way for kids to um, challenge their motor skills and develop more small, fine motor skills. It's also really great for me as an instructor because I can tell where a child is in their brain development. So a kid that's in between the ages of five and eight, I can tell from where how they do with this, whether or not they're gonna be ready for some of my more adult um, lessons like perspective. So you'll see that when somebody struggles with some of these more complicated drawings, that maybe they're not gonna be ready for some of the more difficult things like perspective, but they would still be able to move on and do some of the things that I do with shading and light and how light falls on a form. They just wouldn't necessarily be able to show um, accurate depth in space, and that's okay. So next I'm gonna show you how to do this game. Okay, so here I've got one of the copy this games set up for you. You can see that I already drew four objects on a gridded sheet. And the basic idea is that you wanna be able to do some very easy things to copy, some medium things to copy, and then something that's more difficult. Um, the way that I also sometimes think of it is maybe doing patterns, simple objects, and then more complex objects. So the idea is that I've drawn these, and usually what I would do is I would draw this with the student watching me because sometimes seeing the process of drawing makes things easier for them, especially with the more complex things like the perspective. If they can watch me draw that, then usually they're gonna be able to copy that a little bit more effectively. Um, and then the student would draw in this line below and then hopefully I could convince them that I should draw this one and they would copy down below again, although sometimes they wanna do the drawing, so they'll do four drawings here and then I'll copy it down below. If I do that with them, what I'm gonna do is do another sheet so that they get eight objects that I'm gonna have them copy and that way I can assess how they're doing a little bit more easily, but, um, but sometimes they like to contribute too, so it's fun to let them draw something and then have me copy. I'm gonna show you an easy way to grid off the page. So I don't wanna have to mess around with using measurements when I'm just doing a game. So I'm gonna dry, I'm sorry, draw um, a line that's halfway in between and I'm not measuring, I'm just sort of assessing visually where that goes. And then I'm gonna draw a line that copies or that cuts um, each side in half again. And then I'm gonna divide it in half vertically from top to bottom and then I'm gonna divide each half and half again. And then I'm gonna wind up with 16 um, squares or rectangles that are about equal. They aren't perfect, but that doesn't matter to me. And then again, I'm usually gonna do something easy like a pattern, something a little bit more difficult in the middle, and then something a little bit harder. So, you know, the patterns can really be anything that you feel like can be copied. Um, it could be an object or it could reference nothing. Um, that doesn't matter so much. Then the things that are a little bit harder, you wanna be able to see if they can grow a little bit in their skills, if they can follow along. Um, you might think about doing something that is fun for them to draw. So a lot of little kids are gonna to wanna to draw animals. So sometimes I'll add in a little animal. Let's see, he needs another leg. I'm gonna give him one there. And then I'm always gonna do something that is involving perspective, and you're gonna see that um, little kids, usually between the ages of five and eight, might have a challenge in, um, in copying these accurately. So where I would normally see the challenge is they aren't gonna be able to do, um, they aren't gonna be able to do I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's somebody working on their yard next door. Um, so they aren't gonna be able to copy something like this with it looking like it's going back in space. Instead, what you're gonna see is they'll struggle and they'll draw something that you know, has all the right lines and elements to it, but it's not gonna look like there's any depth to it. So with this one, really don't worry about failing. If you can stretch yourself and get something that's too hard for somebody else to do, 
or if somebody can get something that's a little bit too hard for you to do, that's gonna be great because it's gonna be activating the parts of your brain that you need to be activating and still developing your motor skills. So go ahead and try this one, fail, don't worry, just have fun. Thank you all so much for watching. More videos are coming soon, so if you wish to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that. And also you can check out my website, lzmstudio.com.